Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. To us, OC stands for community because we believe that our community is stronger when we come together. We thank you for joining us each Tuesday evening on channel 56.10 and on Wednesday morning. This is a bilingual English and Vietnamese program dedicated to educating, empowering, and inspiring our community. And here to inspire us all is the Mayor of Garden Grove, Mayor Steve Jones, and Mayor Pro Tem, Deidre Tu Ha Nguyen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Tôi là Thị Trung Steve Jones, Quốc Tan Phô, Garden Grove. Um, I'm Garden Grove Mayor Steve Jones, and thank you, Julie, for having us on the show. It's an honor to be here. Thank you so much for being here, Steve. Yes, I'm a Mayor Pro Tem Deidre Tu Ha Nguyen, and thank you so much for inviting us uh, to on your talk show today. À, hôm nay Julie có thời gian nói chuyện với thị trưởng của thành phố ở Garden Grove với phó thị trưởng đó là chị Tida Thu Hà. Hôm nay một có một thời gian rất là đặc biệt để cho mình tìm hiểu thêm về nhiều thông tin của thành phố Garden Grove để cho giúp cho cộng đồng Việt Nam của mình. Với thêm nữa cũng có dài cái um, event coming up. Trước nhất đó là cái Open Street event ở uh, trong uh, ngày 2 tháng 4. Với thêm nữa đó là cái um, Strawberry Festival and Star Strawberry Parade, Parade ngày 20, I think 26, 27 tháng tháng 5 phải không chị? Dạ vâng. Okay. I was just mentioning that you know there's two exciting events that's coming up in the city. Um, as a re long-term resident of Garden Grove, I'm so excited to be a part of it. And I know my kids are so excited every year for the Open Street event, Steve. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, the Open Streets events are kind of my baby as part of the Reimagine Garden Grove campaign. And it was originally conceived to, um, you know, shut down the streets to vehicular traffic, kind of like a Cicla Via type event, oh. um, get people out on bicycles, skateboards, walking, um, just to take over the streets and experience downtown Garden Grove in a totally different light. And it's geared to just be a a one-day pop-up of what our downtown could look like all day, every day, um, sometime in the in the near future, um, vibrantly filled with people and pedestrians and food and entertainment and all kinds of things. So we're excited about that coming up on April 2nd. Oh, thank you so much. Chị Tu Hoa nói cho khán giả của Việt Nam của mình đó, là chương trình Open Street là chương trình gì là tại sao mình phải đóng cái đường với cho mọi người ra tham dự. Dạ vâng, à, ông thị trưởng chia sẻ đó đó là cái ngày Open Street thì mình nói là cái ngày lễ hội ngoài trời. À. Mà đây là lần thứ hình như là đây là lần thứ ba thành phố Garden Grove đã tổ chức. Thì cái ngày lễ hội ngoài trời là một cái một cái sinh hoạt mà muốn uh, promote cái sự lành mạnh, cái healthy uh, healthy living, uh, healthy um, lifestyle giống như là mọi người kêu mọi người là ra ngoài sẽ đạp đạp những chiếc xe đạp đi bộ hay đi những cái scooter và chơi với con cái mà cho nên đó lý do tại sao mà thành phố Golden Grove đóng đường lại trong một khoảng vài tiếng đồng hồ từ 2 giờ tới 6 giờ chiều à, để mà chắc cho tất cả mọi người đi đi xe đạp với nhau và có những cái những cái bước những cái quầy uh, để uh, bài promoting promoting uh, những cái sản phẩm healthy yeah, hay right. là những cái sinh hoạt uh, lành mạnh cho các em như là đu dây rất là vui. Dạ, tại Julie thấy đây là cái vision là mình hy vọng cái tương lai của thành phố sẽ là mở rộng cho với có nhiều nhiều công việc với với trò chơi Đúng cho rồi. gia đình cho, cho Julie thấy rất là vui. Dạ, à, outdoor activity cho nó là muốn promote cái healthy environment. Dạ vâng. Dạ, yeah. you know Steve, I'm so excited because you know the city is really transforming. I think a lot of yeah. people that that are living in the city they see that there's so many great ideas with your leader, both of your leaderships, to see that you know we're opening up ideas for the community to learn more about what can be the future of our city. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for me, um, as a resident garden grove for, I believe, 20 years or so, and, you know, doing nonprofits in, in the city, mm -hmm. it's such an honor to have the support of the city, to have the support of, you know, even the, the garden grove PD and fire. I know when we do OC Autism Lighted at Blue, everybody comes out. And, you know, when we do these small little events, it gives a family an idea of what community feels like. Yeah. And I think I really enjoy the inclusiveness of the city. Yeah. What is it that you enjoy, Mayor, um, when you are in this position of leadership? Let, let me answer that by going back through to kind of an open streets yes. element to kind of tie that together. Because okay. I think 
what we strive to do with these events is to be inclusive and to tie everyone together. Yes. So a few kind of specific examples of those kind of things in, in open streets. Um, every year when we shut down the streets to vehicles, um, we try and do programming to make different parts of the route interesting with yeah. entertainment and booths and whatnot. One key thing this year is we're gonna be highlighting the bike and pedestrian path oh. that opened last year in the middle of the pandemic with no fanfare. So okay. when um, we did a, um, gosh, it was, we got a lot of grant money and it was a couple million dollars worth of um, renovations to the old Pacific Electric right of way. Um, so we created the start of a bike path that I oh. hope will someday connect the whole entire city, but at least for right now, it connects downtown through to kind of Central Garden Grove. Okay. And um, when that opened, there was no event, there was no open streets last year. So it just opened and people kind of organically found it. So for one thing, this is our opportunity to just highlight the new bike and pedestrian path. Um, we've named it the Medal, Medal of Honor yes. or Medal of Valor? The Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor um, bike path. Um, and so we've got some plaques commemorating that. But okay. there's trees, landscaping, lighting, um, a bike path, and then a decompressed granite walking path. Um, we're going to be unveiling a new public piece of artwork along that bike path wow. um, during the open streets event. So that's one. I have another one I want to talk about too, but maybe <laughs> I'll stop there for now and just say we're going to highlight the bike path, which just opened and we haven't really celebrated its opening yet. There's oh. a whole, there's also a uh, Paul Hong and moving forward is going to take over a portion of the bike path to um, create a focus on wellness. He's got this beautiful concept. There's basically four different sections of the um, Pacific Electric right away that span from the different streets where it yes. crosses the intersections and so there's going to be an underlying theme of wellness which is beautiful so um, you know mental wellness physical wellness social wellness community wellness and um, so I hope that in the future our the bike path and the old Pacific Electric right of way will come to life with you know kiosks or shipping containers or some kind of cool uses along those different stretches that that highlight the different aspects of wellness as a unifying theme. So this is just a, just an opening, a reveal of sorts, yeah. and just an introduction yeah. to what can be and will be uh, mm -hmm. still part of Garden Grove. Chị Thu Hà nói thêm về về cái, cái bike path về về nhiều người Việt Nam của mình cũng thích đi bộ, Đúng phải rồi. không? And cũng thích lái xe đạp với gia đình. Dạ Mà chị nào Julie thấy là cái bike path đây là rất là an toàn. Dạ Tại you know, sometimes Julie dẫn con ra ha, đi với con chó thấy vui. Dạ you know, but hiện tại thì cũng chưa có cây có nhiều. So, yeah, cũng, right. so, you know, uh, that's still in development. Đúng. So, chị nói thêm cho, cho cộng đồng Việt Nam anh hiểu. Dạ, yeah, bằng cái bypass á, là cái, cái một, uh, hiện tại cái bypass là kéo dài 1.2 cây số oh, và bắt oh. đầu từ đường Brookhurst and đường Bixby và kéo dài cho tới gần đường, uh, gần đường uh, Nutwood, yeah, uh, gần tới uh, đường Main Street, coi như băng qua một đường, tới Nelson á, gần tới Nelson là cái, cái khúc cuối. Thì cái bypass đó mới vừa được uh, khánh thành cách đây hơn một năm à. Trong cái mùa Covid cho nên cũng không có nhiều người biết tới uh, để Cái bypass này nhưng mà cái bypass này là được có tiền tài trợ Nó, nó là hồi xưa nó là cái đường xe lửa cũ oh, của okay. Orange County Và sau này và chuyển lại Nhưng mà cái mà cái ước nguyện mà của hội đồng thành phố là muốn Muốn có cái tài trợ để làm một cái bypass mà kéo dài từ bên miền miền tây của con cô bắc qua miền đông nó connect cái city together oh. đó là cái cái vision của mình là mình muốn open cái bypass như vậy nhưng mà hiện tại thì mới có một một chấm hai cây số thôi dạ, nhưng vâng. mà nó 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 nằm giữa địa hạt số ba số bốn và đi qua số năm okay. tức là nó an gần gần main street thì uh, trong trong cái bypass này uh, hiện tại nó uh, mình có những cái kế hoạch là sẽ có những cái uh, những cái uh, những cái tranh ảnh uh, sẽ được Uh, design ở trên cái 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 bức tường dạ cũng vâng. giống như là anh Paul Hoàng có những cái uh, Paul Hoàng trong cái nhóm nào chị? Dạ mà ừ. moving forward. Okay. Anh Paul Hoàng trong moving forward đó là chú ý về về tâm lý về tâm lý, uh, khỏe, tâm lý. Dạ vâng. Uh, okay. Anh uh, anh cũng tham gia rất là nhiều các hoạt động nên Paul phải trong cộng cộng đồng của chúng ta giúp về yeah. những And cái gia well đình. Yeah, well đúng rồi. Okay. Yeah. Dạ. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anh có những cái um, cái mà cái kế hoạch sẽ biến cái bypass này uh, qua những cái chương trình mà giải trí ngoài trời cũng giống như là uh, những cái chương trình rất là lành mạnh để cho connect family together thì uh, sẽ có upcoming 
Ok. Rất là nhiều mình, exciting. <cười> Julie có hơi ngạc nhiên mới đi mình nói tiếng Việt Nam mà Steve cũng trả lời được ha. <cười> <cười> Steve, we're, we're just speaking Vietnamese and then we men Paul and you were just adding to it. He's like, a part, yeah. You yeah. can yeah. understand yeah. more Vietnamese than we think. <cười> He's just a member of the our community for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. like yeah. for us, you know, we all see each other yeah. as friends in the community mm-hmm. and mostly, yeah. more importantly, advocates for our community. Mm-hmm. And I'm so proud to be part of the city of Garden Grove. And I love the new vision about health and wellness yeah. and really about family. Correct. You know, I think many times, you know, we as parents, we have to say, okay, we have to go outside the city to enjoy the outdoors. But now we're saying, no, Garden Grove is a place where we're going to love to raise our children and be able to continue to enjoy this on the weekend too. Yeah. So um, after the commercial break, we'll definitely have more opportunity to talk to Mayor Steve Jones and Mayor Pro Tem of the city of Garden Grove, that's Deja Tu Ha Nguyen. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Sau phần, sau phần quảng cáo, chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục nói chuyện với uh, thị trưởng, với phó thị trưởng của thành phố Garden Grove. Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714-898-0765 Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. Julie Yip, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Trong chương trình hôm nay, Julie có thời gian nói chuyện với thị trưởng của thành phố Garden Grove, đó là Mayor Steve Jones, and phó thị trưởng đó là Mayor Pro Tem DJ Thu Hà Nguyễn. À, hôm nay, chúng tôi có thời gian nói chuyện với hai chương trình rất là đặc biệt trong thành phố Garden Grove, đó là trước nhất là cái Open Street Event ngày 2 tháng 4 với um, Strawberry Festival, với Star- Strawberry Parade ngày 20, mm. uh, ngày 27, 26, 27 tháng tháng 5 um, ngày ngày 2 tháng 4 là cũng một ngày đặc biệt cho OC Autism đó là World Autism Day. So Steve, you know, huh. the April 2nd is such a significant day for us for OC Autism huh. because that's World Autism Day. So mm-hmm. that day I won't I definitely won't forget, you know. Yeah. So but again, I know that every year for 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 OC Autism, specifically we light up the clock tower blue and you know, yeah. but as you mentioned during the commercial break there's so many of us and so many great organizations and projects that's happening in Garden Grove that, you know, as a mayor and a mayor pro tem, you guys are so good at looking at the big picture, looking at evaluating about what's happening in the city and prioritizing. You know, there's before we get to that project, I definitely know that we there's a lot more to talk about with the Open Street event and the Strawberry Festival. Mm-hmm. What, what do we still need to talk about the Open Street, Steve? <laughs> yeah, sure. Many things. <laughs> yeah, there, there's so much to talk about. And I'm always so enthusiastic about it because I, yes. you know, was just involved in the inception of it um, back some, you know, five, seven years ago or whatever when we first started. So, um, you, you know, it starts out, it wants to be an inclusive event. It wants to be a way to celebrate our center of town, our downtown, yes. um, and all the different cultures and socioeconomics that embrace the city and bring everyone together, right? Yes. Um, but we didn't want to be contrived about it, right? We didn't want to call it an international food fair and learn how to say onyong haseo to your neighbor. <laughs> so we didn't want to be cheesy. We wanted to make it cool and natural. But at the end of the day, if you stand there and you look out, you're going, it's a United Nations crowd. Everybody's getting yes. along and everybody's celebrating the aspects of placemaking that make Garden Grove so special with food and art and music and um, technology and just kind of an underlying theme of kindness and compassion and wellness, whatever. So with all that kind of in the background of the mix, we always try and do exciting programming for the event. Um, In the past, we've had zip lining. If some of you may (laughs) recall, you were able, you know, several years ago to zip line down the middle of Garden Grove Boulevard where there would normally be 100,000 cars a day (laughs) driving up and down that street. So just kind of this surreal experience of taking the street back and zip lining down Garden Grove Boulevard. We had a Cirque du Soleil um, event before that was really cool and special. Um, The Ducks, uh, Anaheim Ducks came and did a hockey exhibit for the kids before. Lots of art programming. Um, This year we'll have, uh, in partnership with the Garden Grove School District, we're going to have art in the park Mm -hmm. um, during the Open Streets event. But there's one key one that I think is kind of cool and special for this year. So if nothing else, come out to to check this out. Um, And we could frame it in the context that we're trying to connect with our Hispanic community in Garden Grove. But the reality is this is just an uber hip fun event for everybody and it's going to be a very surreal experience for Garden Grove at Open Street. So we've hired a group that's going to set up 
a boxing ring right in the middle of wow. <laughs> Euclid and Acacia, like wow. our main thoroughfare um, right by City Hall and the connection between City Hall and Main Street and whatnot. Uh -huh. So right in the middle of the street, they're going to set up a boxing ring and they're going to host a Lucha Libre Mexican <laughs> wrestling event, like the uh, Mexican wrestlers uh -huh. with the masks mm -hmm. and all okay. the theatrics and the dramatics and the flying aerial takedowns and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a really exciting show. Um, when I yeah, when I went to college in LA, I remember many years ago visiting uh, Lucha Libre shows at the Mayan <laughs> Theater in, yes, in downtown know. LA, and just thinking it was such a surreal experience to watch Mexican wrestling, but with all these like Hollywood celebs and cocktails mm -hmm. and whatever. Like it was just a bizarre like, you know, what is this and what am I doing here? <laughs> whatever kind of thing. So I think that's going to be really fun. We're going to have Lucha Libre Mexican wrestling wow. right on Euclid and Acacia in the middle of our Open Streets event. So come so, check it out. So the Open Street event is so inclusive of everything. It's there's something for the kids, something for the family, mm -hmm. and there's mm -hmm. also resources and programs that you're connecting. Mm -hmm. I like the style in which yeah. you're presenting programs to families because it's not, like you said, it's not in your face. We're not forcing people to do mm -hmm. it. We're actually giving them incentive to mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. So, chị Thu Hà nói thêm á, à, tại sao gia đình muốn tham dự chương trình năm năm nay? Ồ, oh, dạ yeah, vâng. À, có có một cái điều mà mình cũng muốn chia sẻ đó, thành phố Gangô là một cái thành phố đa văn hóa. Oh. À, và một cái thành phố mà coi như là rất là đông dân, 175.000 dân và đa văn hóa có 40% phần trăm là người gốc Á Châu. Ồ, oh, vậy thôi. Dạ vâng. Và và 30% là người 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 Mễ và còn bao nhiêu phần trăm lại là người Mỹ trắng. Cho nên okay. cái đa văn hóa này trên cái chương trình mà Open Street cho là lễ hội ngoài trời là muốn cho mời tất cả mọi người hết. Dạ vâng. Cho không có không có chia một cộng đồng nào. Và chính vì vậy cho những cái những sinh hoạt trong cái ngày lễ hội này là, là đại diện cho nhiều cái sắc tộc khác nhau. Dạ dạ. Cho nên đó là một cái là đây là một cái điều rất là tốt cho cộng đồng. À, cộng đồng của nhiều cộng đồng đến với nhau và nhiều thế hệ để chơi chung vui với nhau. Tại nó có những cái chương trình mà con nít giống như hồi nãy chị Chua Ly cũng nói yeah. là con nít đến cũng vui mà người lớn tuổi đến cũng vui mà đây là một cái chương trình rất là lành mạnh và rất là có một cái sắc thái về uh, tôn trọng văn hóa, tôn vinh văn hóa của nhau nữa. Uh -huh. Đó là cái mà rất là mà trong ban tổ chức cũng giống như là uh, đã có những cái kế hoạch a lot of manpower that um, volunteer uh -huh. rồi manpower ngồi xuống để làm những cái chương trình như thế nào. Mà, mà, mà anh Steve cũng nói là một cái mà wrestling là làm cái đó là cái gì chị chị Thu Hà? Dạ, yeah, wrestling là một cái là đô vật á, đô vật. Mình là đô vật mà 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 đô vật uh, giống như quý vị thấy là uh, theo của cái người văn hóa của người 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 Latin á uh -huh. thì uh, có một cái chương trình hồi xưa là uh, đô vật nhưng mà đô vật rồi có có nhiều khán giả ngồi theo kiểu Hollywood style oh. rồi mà đô vật mà che mặt lại rồi bay qua bên này rồi bay qua bên kia cho nên mà mà có nguyên cái vòng thi đấu. Uh -huh. in the ring, uh, they're really good. Yeah. You know, Steve, the funny thing is that my in-laws, they're in their 80s. Uh -huh. They're these Chinese people. They <laughs> love <laughs> watch wrestling. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I love that, that you mentioned yeah. it because I know one day, you know, for Mother's Day, my sister-in-law, brother-in-law brings her flowers and fruits and I gave her a WWF DVD. Yeah. And my mother-in-law was so excited. <laughs> so I think, you know, I think you're, you, so you, cool. you're going to make her day. But I, I, yeah, I, I love the inventiveness, the creativeness of right. our city. And, you know, in a way that, that as you mentioned, um, you know, Mayor Pro Tem, that this is an opportunity to bring people together. Mm -hmm. People of different ethnicity, of culture and language. Um, it's important for, for people to realize that Garden Grove is such a melting pot. That if we have about 40% Asian, minor, you know, Asian minorities and 30% white and 30% Latino in general, that we, we really want to celebrate each other. Mm -hmm. And what a better way to come together and yeah. not feel like we're forced to be together. Yeah. But we want to be together and we choose to be, get, to be together because, as you said, it's a city of kindness and compassion yeah. and of, of friendship. You know, mm -hmm. and I think that sit, the Garden Girl really has that little hometown feel mm -hmm. that everybody really just feels comfortable. And I definitely Main Street, everybody's kind of flocking over now. Yeah. You know, the new yeah. business down the street. And I think that's been very, um, you know, inviting too. And one, one yeah. thing I want to add to not just a city of, of compassion, and, but also the city of youth. Oh, right. Yeah. If the, that, that's what we want to promote to the city of youth that are a lot of us, uh, and, and had nothing to do with age, but uh, no. Are we uh, considered still young? <laughs> young, <laughs> we're always young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> but the city of youth is not about the age, but about about um, about empower each other. It's about oh. about respect from one another, and it's about um, being energetic, being enthusiastic, and being love of the city where we live.
I think the youth to me, what I'm hearing from you both, is the youth in the lifestyle. Because I think if we yeah. change out our lifestyle yeah. and our activity, yeah. I think we're going to continue to be more youthful and more energetic at the end of the day. Absolutely. Because yeah. I know as I hit 40, my energy level has gone down. But <laughs> I know as I, if I go swimming or I go hiking or I walk my dog down the, the, the bike path, mm -hmm. you know, it feels nice. You know, to feel like yep. I can, uh, there's a place for us to go in the city now. Absolutely. Yes. Is there anything that you want to share with our, or the, with our community and invite them to, uh, to the Open Street event, Steve? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'd, I'd love to just invite everybody to come out. These have been very successful events um, the several times we've done them in the past. We were not able to do it for the last couple of years for obvious reasons because yes. of the pandemics and lockdowns and all the rules. Um, so we're excited to bring back Open Streets, um, our fourth one, which will be on April 2nd of this year. Lots of cool programming. Um, bring your friends, bring the family, bring your bikes. We anticipate, you know, 10 to 15,000 people taking over our streets and just... <laughs> hanging out and having a lot of fun that day. Um, so we look, we look forward to having everybody come out and check out some Mexican wrestling and the bike path and art in the park and all the great foods um, of Garden Grove being and highlighted zip line. that day. And well, zip I don't line. think we have zip lining this year. I don't think so again this year. That was, that was before. <laughs> that was my favorite. Yeah. But we're going to have a lot of cool surprises oh, okay. and a lot of cool programming. Do you have my my khán giả Việt Nam của mình? Ờ, dạ vâng, à, xin quý vị đừng quên là ngày 2 tới tháng 4 và từ 2 giờ chiều ở trên ở góc đường Euclid à, với đường Golden Road sẽ đóng đường hết khoảng 2.2 cây số và có rất nhiều sinh hoạt. Kính mời quý đồng hương hãy đến ngày đến tham dự ngày lễ hội ngoài trời với thành phố Golden Road. Julie cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV hôm nay. Julie có thời gian đặc biệt nói chuyện về cái open um, open uh, community cho cho thành phố Garden Grove. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả. Sau phần quảng cáo chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục nói chuyện với Mayor Steve Jones and Mayor Pro Tem DJ Thu Hoa Nguyễn. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả. Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình. 714 898 0765Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. Julie, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Hiện tại chúng tôi sẽ nói, tiếp tục nói chuyện với thị trưởng của thành phố Garden Grove với phó thị trưởng Deidre Thu Hà. Um, we have a great opportunity to talk about the Open Street event, about the Strawberry Festival. And I know just before the commercial break, you guys were teasing us a little bit <laughs> that there's something going on in the city hall. Is only, Are we just only fixing the city hall or are there more things going on? There's a, <laughs> sure. There, there's a lot going on in and around City Hall. So um, for right now, we're actually renovating the City Hall lobby. So okay. if you came inside, you'd see there's tarps up. The flooring is completely torn out. The, you know, um, everything's torn apart. So for right now, um, our, all of our customer service and all of the um, kind of resident interface that they would normally experience in the lobby at City Hall is being conducted next door in the old credit union building right on the corner of Euclid and Acacia. So, okay. so we have a um, temporary, and it's actually very nice the way they have it set up. It's a, you know, it used to be a bank, so mm -hmm. it's like typical bank teller window style set up with lines you can walk in and pay your water bills or do, okay. or inquire about projects or whatnot. So, um, so our lobby is currently set up temporarily next door um, as we renovate. I think that's going to be about an eight month long project. Mm -hmm. And then it's just going to um, change the way um, City Hall operates. We're updating some security features and whatnot, as well as just functionality for the public to interface with the city. So that's going to be that's going to be exciting. But are that's there just any the cha tip changes? Of the iceberg. Oh, are there <laughs> any changes in scheduling or availabilities for the community to access the City Hall? I'm not sure exactly, and okay. I would encourage, and I think we're sort of making this up on the fly to try and make this as smooth a transition as possible. So okay. I would encourage anyone who needs to do business with the city to call in advance or go to ggcity.org, the website, and try and look up specifically what it is they're trying to accomplish so they make sure that they accommodate within. I think we're going to try and keep the normal operating hours, but the things that used to happen in the lobby are now happening next door at the old credit union building on the corner. And I want to add to that is also... Um, từ là cái cái đại sảnh của thành phố hiện tại tạm thời dọn qua bên cái nhà băng ở đầu đầu đường Acacia với đường Euclid. Chỉ đó kế là, bên cái City Hall. Dạ kế bên cái City Hall tức okay. là nó nó cách nhau có bạc kinh lát nhỏ mà okay. nó nằm ngay góc đường của Acacia với Euclid luôn thành nên họ không mình mình không có miss được cái cái building đó. Nhưng mà cái mà những cái dịch vụ á là có thể đến cái chỗ này để mà đó là dịch vụ để về đóng tiền business license hay là đóng tiền nước. 
Còn những cái dịch vụ như là về xây cất á, thì cần phải make appointment. Oh, okay. Um, I'm talking about the uh, planning, the yeah. planning, building, the building planning. services. Then, and then people need to call into the city and make appointment. But yeah. uh, for the yeah. water bill and business license, that, thì mọi người có thể đến cái building đó và sẽ có người ở đằng sau cái quầy sẽ giúp đỡ. Uh, còn những cái dịch vụ mà xây cất thì đa số bây giờ thành phố Gòn Gòn xây, xây cất rất là nhiều. Yeah. Cho nên uh, uh, tốt nhất là, là cô khuyên đồng hương của chúng ta nên call in để make appointment thì thì ừ. nó không bị bị cản trở uh, giờ giấc của mọi người của cả hai thì nó nó, nó đi lẹ hơn. Yeah. yeah. And teacher was just mentioning that you know there's so much you know even homes and ADU developments that so many uh, family yeah. <laughs> wants to come in and talk about building and planning right. and you know they're they're excited and they're kind of you know trying to push the timeline. Yeah. But so you know course, call, yeah. people to call the make appointment so every, everything the processing is, is smoother and okay. the timing you know de- de- designate to answer the questions better as well. Good. Okay. We're also embracing technology. So yeah. there's the ability now to process plans and submit those applications electronically, digitally. Okay through the website and we're trying to um, kind of embrace that and get our our resident base and our builders and whatnot and our investors to figure that out as well so that um, we can make things even more streamlined than the old school way of face-to-face interactions and standing in lines. So your, your IT department's getting busy updating yes. the website, making sure everything yes. is more electronic, even the planning part of it. Yep. And even then also the approval the process is online right now too. Okay. And yeah. uh, and then you can upload uh, the the plan, the, the uh, what do you call it, the ma- the, uh, applications the application and, the and everything and is okay. online. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I know, so besides the city uh-huh. hall renovation, <laughs> I know there's more to do, huh? There's a lot yeah. of Can we just get a little teaser about what to expect? Because I know, you know, as we do, th- we, we talk about the open street, we talk about, you know, possibly moving, you mm-hmm. know, the police station or the fire station sure. or, um, you know, why would we consider doing something <laughs> like that in the city? Yeah. Well, actually, um, to talk about the projects, and I want to share is that oh. in, in District 3, we, we're going to have a grand opening very soon on the senior, um, senior village, uh, Ooh, the yeah. uh, apartment, uh, affordable apartment. Okay. 394 affordable house, um, um, apartment for, for seniors. seniors. Mm-hmm. Right on Brookhouse and Garden Grove. You know, it used to be a rusty skeleton, <laughs> the the rusty. ugly yeah. one for almost yeah. 10 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a very beautiful building right now, and it's almost done. Wow, mm-hmm. it's almost that. It'd be, it'd be a grand opening very, very soon. So you said 300, how many? 394. 394 mm-hmm. new residents then? Units. Yeah. Units. Yeah, it's, it's have a, a studio or one bedroom with two bedrooms for wow. senior. It's affordable mm-hmm. housing for senior only. That's amazing. I didn't think that day will come. Right. And, and with, it's around with the corner. Some, uh, <laughs> with some ancillary services on the ground floor too, oh, like yes. pharmacies and medical offices. And, and yeah, and a, and a retail store as well. And then mm-hmm. they have a little community uh, community office and um, active um, I think room, right? Community yeah. room mm-hmm. that that the senior can have some activity with yeah. the boy girl, boy and girl scouts as well. So Came are there beautiful. is there an application process for people to? enroll in it so the community knows how yes I actually uh, the, com- the community have, I mean the city have been rolled out to have some people sign up okay. um, a list of interest and I think we have uh, like 2,000 people already already yeah, the yeah. developer has been creating an interest list and okay yes, we've been sending people over that way so um, yeah I think it's gonna be well received whenever they're ready to open and start actually signing leases <laughs> and I saw and the requirement. I think the requirement you had to be a resident of Garden Grove. Okay. And then the, you uh, and then the second is you had to um, work in Garden Grove, uh-huh. or you work and live in Garden Grove. Hmm. So there's a there's a criteria to to be qualified. And age restrictions. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. age restriction. <laughs> is that it 65 and over? I think so. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know what the number okay. is, but yeah, I think but it's, it's a senior. Si- it's specifically for yeah. senior. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And em muốn hỏi thêm về người Việt Nam của mình có biết cái chương trình này không chị để cho đi danh không? Dạ có. Đã đã nhiều tháng qua cũng đã bên cái department của Outreach cũng đã lên tất cả đài truyền thông, truyền hình cũng như là báo 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 Việt ngữ đã thông báo những cái này rồi. Cho nên cái số người mà ghi danh là hai ngàn người. Wow. Rất là nhiều. Dạ vâng. Okay. And then, mm-hmm. Bia, có thêm gì chị, chị muốn chia sẻ với cái project that Julie cũng biết là thành phố Garden Grove, you guys are all busy. There's so many projects that you're working on and I know we only have a few minutes left literally oh. to mm-hmm. share. So uh, is there anything that you want to highlight? Any new sure. job positions that we're looking for? Because, you know, we're, I know that there's so many things that, you know, the people in the community can get involved in. So you mentioned a few minutes ago about our civic center area um, and uh, a big underlying project that we're focused on there now, thanks to some federal stimulus money that we got coming out of the pandemic, 
um, is we're really excited about building a brand new police headquarters. Okay. So um, our police station, our, our central police station is very dated, it's antiquated, and they're bursting at the seams now that we've got more police um, sworn officers than we've had forever. We're rapidly approaching, you know, 200 officers in the city. We've been hiring and uh, bringing in fresh new faces as new recruits or as laterals from other departments. So our um, our department is bustling. They've got a lot of work to do out there in the streets, obviously, these days with um, just how crazy things are and how crazy a lot of the state laws are relative to trying to keep um, criminals off the streets and in jail. So they've got their hands full. We're trying as a city to provide them a proper place to work from. And yes. um, so we're looking to kind of remix the whole Civic Center area and um, develop a brand new police headquarters. It's possible that the new police headquarters might not be in its exact same location. Um, so that the, you know, if it engages directly onto Euclid or directly onto Garden Grove Boulevard, that may be a plus in terms of um, just facilitating public safety vehicles racing in and out to go on calls. Mm -hmm. And so as not to interfere with all the pedestrian traffic being created in our newly expanded downtown with steel craft being vibrant again, with cottage industries coming in wow. soon mm -hmm. and other mixed use projects in the works. Um, so, um, so stay tuned for um, a new police headquarters and, and a kind of fresh new mixed use um, vibe for our civic center area that we're going to start working on now in the next few years. Well, thank you so much for that, that news and thank you for helping us you know, stay, feel safe in our own city. And then when we talk about the, the open, um, the new development, we also talk about the job opening because city continue to want to hire more people, uh, especially be able to speak bilingual. Oh. And I know yeah. the police office, uh, uh, police department uh, is really heavily recruit police officer who be able to speak another mm -hmm. language, especially the Vietnamese uh, and Korean. So that's very helpful. Well, thank you so much, Mayor Steve Jones and Mayor Pro Tem Deidre Thuha for coming onto this show. Such a great opportunity to work with you in the community, but you know, to be able to formally share all the great things that you're doing and more projects that, that the community needs to be more aware of. Yeah. Hope to have you back on the show soon. Great, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Julie, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Um, hy vọng uh, Julie sẽ có nhiều thời gian nói chuyện với uh, thị trưởng của thành phố Garden Grove với phó thị trưởng uh, DJ Thu Hà. À, Julie cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV đã theo dõi chương trình hôm nay. Hy vọng à, quý vị có nhiều thời gian hiểu thêm về rất nhiều chương trình trong thành phố Garden Grove trước nhất đó là cái Open Street Event ngày 2 tháng 4 với thêm nữa là The Strawberry Festival với The Strawberry Parade trong tháng 5. À, Julie cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV đã luôn luôn ủng hộ chương trình Kính thức y khoa, gia đình và xã hội. Julie chúc quý vị rất nhiều sức khỏe và may mắn. Cảm ơn quý vị. Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host Julia Yip. Right now, we're going to continue our conversation with Mayor Steve Jones and Mayor Pro Tem Deja Tuha Nguyen. We've had a great opportunity to talk about the Open Street event, but now I really want to learn more about the upcoming Strawberry Parade and Strawberry Festival. I, I, when I talk to my staff about the Strawberry Festival, they, they remember the festival, but not a lot of people know about the parade, Steve. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? Well, for starters, I can tell by your beautiful strawberry dress <laughs> that you're excited and ready for the so Strawberry excited. Festival this year. <laughs> um, you know, the Strawberry Festival has been an age-old tradition in Garden Grove for over 60 years now. It's a wonderful um, event. Um, the group who runs it, the Strawberry Festival Foundation, has always been very firmly rooted in philanthropy and giving back. So all the money that gets generated through the Strawberry Festival ends up going back out to community oh. nonprofits within the city and um, so it's it's been it's been very beneficial in the city of Garden Grove supports the Strawberry Festival in so many ways obviously but um, there's so many different events that go on within the Strawberry Festival so there's the festival itself there's the parade we can talk about there's also a Strawberry Stomp 5k run that wow. happens early in the morning I'm not sure if we're doing that this year or not I hope we continue doing that um, there's the strawberry ball where the strawberry king and queen are announced. There's um, a, a breakfast 
before the parade. There's the cake cutting on Main Street, just so many different events that comprise that whole long weekend. And it always happens on Memorial Weekend at the end of May. So there's not there's just not just two events that I'm aware of. So there's so much more. Yeah. So I so how do we learn more about these events? Is it on the city website or how can families learn more about it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually uh, on the city website. Okay. It's, uh, any upcoming event usually take about 30 days before there will be an event on the website in the ggcity.org. Mm -hmm. um, and on that website, you're going to find a lot of information about the city, not just about the event, but also about the services that the city provides. Uh -huh. uh, and then even if you want to, you know, um, if you want to find out what happened to the city, uh, upcoming week, there will be a, a calendar for it as well. But I, I think I want to mention about the app. The app is very helpful. Okay. Uh, there's, there's an app you can do it on iPhone or, or on Android it's called a Garden Grow app. Okay. And on the app, you actually can, can, um, can require a lot of services on the app too. I'm glad that the city is so up to date about it because not. I mean, and, you know, I know sometimes it's hard for us because everyone's on their computers or on their devices right now. But to have an app that's easily accessible, that definitely helps the, the family. Um, it has anything been translated to help the Vietnamese community, or is it in another language yet? It's actually on the city website. We do have a bilingual. Oh, uh, but okay. everything, everything on the event or anything on the uh, uh, informations, uh, we do have. Um, uh, a community service to have a designated person called community liaison okay. that uh, be able to translate uh, the, the, the information to Vietnamese and Korean as well. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thưa quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV, hôm nay Julie nói chuyện với thị trưởng um, Mayor Steve Jones với phó thị trưởng Mayor, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Deirdre Thu Hà. Nếu quý vị muốn hiểu thêm về thông tin của thành phố Garden Grove, một lần nữa đó website là ggcity.org Thêm nữa, nếu quý vị muốn uh, download cái app của thành phố đó là Garden Grove uh, mình chỉ bỏ Garden Grove trong cái app search mình sẽ tìm được uh, Julie rất là vui là có một cái app cho dễ tìm về mỗi cái thông tin về nhiều cái dịch vụ cho giúp cho cộng đồng Việt Nam của mình um, You know, Steve, I know that as a, as a parade is, is something that that a lot of uh, residents are so excited about because I know on the day of the parade people are lining up their chairs yeah. And, and you can yeah. see so many families. Um, I know my kids are in band, so they'll be performing. Oh, great. And so they get so excited. I, I know go, OC Autism, you, you helped me get in one year, and I said, okay, I think it's time for us to, you know, bring our monkey out and bring the, <laughs> bring the kids out, you know, because, you know, it, it becomes an event where people know and learn about some of the organizations that serve in the community, mm -hmm. some of the families that are excited to be a part of these events, you know. So whether, you know, our kids are in band, our kids are performing, or our kids are on the sideline, there's so many opportunities to enjoy the parade itself. Yes, and then one thing I do want to highlight is, is, the, is about the city, uh, the collaboration. Uh -huh. uh, the city collaborate not just uh, um, with the with the non nonprofit organization, but with the local media as well, and also, and at the same time, the most important is with the school district, because we work mm -hmm. very close with the school district yes. uh, throughout the year, and then and a lot of the event that we actually partnership and bring bring the school district, and and that's why there's a lot of activities from the the art uh, from the student exhibit at the park. Yes. And then, you know, we get to have a, uh, been judged, some of them, and it's so beautiful. We have so many talented yeah. at Garden Grove. We really do. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think the partnership with the, with the Garden Grove Unified School District mm -hmm. is where we see a lot of those artists exhibit a lot of their skills. And then, you know... The hidden gem, the hidden talent. Yeah, yeah. And you, you can't even see, uh, you, don't, you can't tell how old they are, some of these art. It's beyond their age almost. I have a funny side story to share, but you may have noticed this. I, I didn't really draw a lot of attention to it, but um, I like a, last year I kind of got over myself, if you will. So I took down all my diplomas and degrees and fancy plaques off the wall in my <laughs> office. And I reached out through the Garden Grove School District um, to some of the students who did art at the last year's Art in the Park. And I bought several pieces of art. I actually mm -hmm. commissioned and wow. wrote them checks to give them their first commissioned artwork <laughs> That's um, project. Amazing. But I basically acquired the rights to be able to print. And so I, I printed some uh, Garden Grove student artwork. And so now my uh, mayor's office at City Hall has art all over it. I'm looking to get some more um, this year, just stuff that I pick out that stands out to me for whatever reason. And 
just sort of fill my office at City Hall with um, local art and just celebrate our our students and the arts and just. I think you can open it up to all of us too because some of our office right now are very empty. Wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I would like to join as well. And I think you know as Please. we yeah. as we renovate our City Hall. I think we're going to have a lot of spaces on City Ooh, Hall, too, yeah. on the wall. I think that's which one of the things that we should work on. In <laughs> fact, we talked before about the bike path, which is not exactly Strawberry Festival related, but it's Open Streets related. There's that whole, you know, one and a half mile section of the Pacific Electric right-of-way where the trains used to run. Yes. Um, that just has long block walls on either side. Mm -hmm. We're always spraying to keep graffiti off it and that kind of stuff. I'd love to engage the school district and local artists to come just take over sections of that long linear wall so that you have artwork to look at and appreciate and enjoy while you're riding your bike or walking or just enjoying I think that's what path. we call it. It's a, it's a, it's a blank, blank canvas. Yeah. So we can right. put anything on right. it right now, right? Clean slate. <laughs> yep. Yep. Julie, Julie cảm ơn, um, uh, you know, thị trưởng, thị trưởng Steve Jones với um, phó thị trưởng uh, Thị Thu Hà. Uh, hôm nay uh, Julie có thấy, hiểu được uh, là trong chương trình của thành phố, hợp tác rất nhiều với um, học khu Garden Grove là mình thấy đó học khu có nhiều em rất có nhiều tài là cái trong cái art exhibit um, uh, thị trưởng cũng nói chia sẻ với mình đó là uh, thị trưởng lấy nhiều cái bằng thưởng xuống mà điều commission mọi mà mướn mấy em đây để cho um, bỏ cái art để cho thấy đẹp hơn mà chị Thu Hà cũng nói đó là cái cái nhiều cái uh, tài của mấy em đây á là mình mình sẽ làm trong cái bike path luôn Được để rồi. cho vừa làm cho nó đẹp vừa nhân sinh mà cũng vẫn um, cho mấy em đi cũng có việc làm luôn dạ vâng có một cái là trong những cái những cái buổi triển lãm tranh ảnh của các em á, dạ. uh, trong cái buổi uh, những những cái buổi lễ ngoài trời này thì những cái triển lãm cái hình ảnh của các em á, thì giống như ông thị trưởng uh, làm làm liên lạc và à. nó hôm bây giờ là coi như mua bản quyền <cười> đóng, đóng tiền bản quyền của các em để mà xin in lại những cái hình này và treo wow. trong văn phòng thì chúng tôi uh, cũng nói là chia sẻ là chúng tôi cũng có cái văn phòng của chúng tôi cũng rất là trống trải và cũng cần cũng cũng cần có những cái tranh vẽ tại vì mình muốn những cái bức tranh của các em phải nói là uh, cách cái 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 cách cái, cái, cái nhìn cái cái nghệ thuật á phải nói là không phải ai cũng có cá nhân chúng tôi là không có nghệ thuật rồi nhưng mà phải nói là bức tranh nó rất là đẹp dạ, vâng. rất là có ý nghĩa uh, và phải nói là cái tài cái tài không 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 mắc mấy cái tuổi đó dạ, tài, tuổi dạ. rất, các em rất là nhỏ nhưng mà những cái bức tranh rất là đẹp thì uh, hồi nãy cũng chia sẻ là những cái bức tường mà trên cái bypass á chúng tôi nói là bức tường hiện tại nó nói làm như như là bức tranh chưa có hình <cười> đó là cái khung thôi dạ, thì vâng. bây giờ rất là mong muốn có một cái sự uh, uh, creativity của các em để mà có thể cộng những cái hình đó lên vẽ những cái để mà làm cho cái bypass nó 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 beautiful và nó uh, nó, nó nó biểu tượng của thành phố Grand Rapids Yeah, cảm ơn. Cảm ơn chị Thu Hà rất nhiều với cảm ơn thị trưởng Steve Jones. Um, you know, I know you guys just mentioned a little bit about the new development coming up. And so after the commercial break, we we'll definitely have a chance to learn a lot more about all the exciting things that you're alluding to. Um, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Sau phần quảng cáo, chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục nói chuyện với thị trưởng của thành phố Garden Grove với phó thị trưởng Deidre Thu Hà Nguyễn. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV.